A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, you will learn the use of QR code in your Oracle Apex application. First, we will generate QR code manually, which will appear with a default value, submit text, in the sole text field page item along with the generated QR code. By entering some other text in the text field item, and hitting the submit text button, the QR code will be refreshed for the newly entered text. Secondly, we will generate the QR code dynamically. As you start to enter some value in the text field item, the QR code gets updated by the dynamic action. Finally, this last section will allow you to integrate a QR code scanner plugin into your application. With the help of this plugin you can scan QR codes via an optical device, smartphone, or laptop to get details held in these codes. Let's get started. First let's import the QR code plugin into your application. Go to Shared Components. Plugins option. Click the Import button. Then download the source code from this video description. Open QR code folder to access the file used in the video. Select this QR code plugin file. After importing the plugin, create a blank page to hold this segment. I've set my page number to 13. I'm creating this segment under the home menu. After creating the blank page, add a region with the following attributes. This region will generate the manual QR code. Scroll down to custom attribute under advanced section. Here I have used this small line of CSS code. Add a text field item to the page. Add the following attributes to it. The text you enter in this item will be transformed into a QR code. Add one more page item to the plugin. Set the following attributes. The plugin will use the page 14 input text items value as its source. This is the plugin we imported earlier. Add a button to the region. The QR code will be generated after clicking this button. Set the properties for this button. Save and run the page which will appear with a default value, submit text, in the sole text field page item along with the generated QR code. Type some other text in the text field item.
and hit the submit text button. The QR code will be refreshed for the newly entered text. In the navigation, under the home menu, this is the menu entry to access this page. Execute the following steps to use the same QR code plugin to generate the code dynamically. Add another region to the same page. Scroll down to Custom Attribute under Advanced section. Put the same line of CSS code. Add a text field item to the region. Add one more page item to hold the plugin. Finally, create the following dynamic action to generate the QR code dynamically. Set action to execute JavaScript code. Use this code for dynamic action. Click the Save and Run Page button. As you start to enter some value in the text field item, the QR code gets updated by the dynamic action. Let's move a step forward to address a real-world scenario. In this step, we will create a dynamic list of QR codes for all the products in the demo product info table in the object browser. The QR codes will store product IDs. Open page 3 products in the page designer. Select page as copy option. Page in this application. Here I have set my new page number to 15. After making the copy of this page, Change the title of the products region. Expand the SQL Query Editor. Replace this SQL Query with the one provided in the source code. The change in this query from the previous one is highlighted. Make sure validation must be successful. Expand the columns node. Click the QR code column. Scroll down to HTML expression. Put this code in the HTML expression property. 
click the Dynamic Actions tab. Create a dynamic action. This dynamic action will generate QR code list. Copy and paste this code. Now go to Shared Components. Static Application Files option. Select QR Code Min.js file. It is a JavaScript library for generating QR code, which allows you to easily add QR code to your web pages, it is standalone and doesn't rely on external services that go on and off, or add latency while loading. After uploading the file, copy the reference of this file. Finally, add this reference to the JS file. Open page 15 in the page designer. Scroll down to files URL under JavaScript and paste the copied reference. Save and run the page. Expand the Actions menu. Click the columns. Move the QR code column from left pane to right pane. Refresh your browser's window. As you can see that the QR code column is now visible. These QR codes are ready to be used on products, you can scan these codes with the help of an optical device or smartphone to retrieve details from the database, and this is what we will be doing in our final task. After generating QR codes in your application and using them on your products, you will definitely need a solution that enables you to scan and retrieve information from these codes. This final segment will allow you to integrate a QR code scanner plugin into your application, with the help of this plugin you can scan QR codes via an optical device, smartphone, or laptop to get details held in these codes. Execute the following steps to complete this task. Go to Shared Components. Click the Plugins option. Import the QR scanner file. After importing the plugin, create a blank page. Here I have set my new page number to 18. And name it as QR Code Scanner. Remaining steps are same as we did previously. Add a region to the page to hold the plugin. Set the following attributes for this region. This is the QR code scanner plugin we just imported. Add a page item, and set the following properties. This item will display product ID extracted from the QR code.
Add a second page item to display product name. Add one more page item to display product price. Create a dynamic action using the following properties and values. The dynamic action will fetch product name and price based on the scanned QR code, which carries IDs of products. Save your work. I ran this scanner page on my Android smartphone, and the QR code list page, created in the previous task, is displaying in the scanner on my PC to scan the QR codes from the list. As you bring your smartphone near to a QR code in the list, the code is scanned, and relevant product ID, name, and price are shown in relevant page items. That's it for now. Stay tuned to have more videos like this. Thanks for watching.